Well, crypto traders checking in on the markets today. Solid day for the bulls with some news to back it up. Before we get into that, we've got the Trader Pro alert system, three month discount, 20% off. Uptrend 2020 is that code if you're interested in checking it out. Had a member PDX heater this morning using the ETH 30 minute super stack for a nice entry this morning. So let's look at that on the 30 minute time frame. Here it was firing off, overextended to the downside. Very nice timing, heading back to the upside. And you can see these overextended signals, these 30 minute super stack alerts to the upside, just leading to sideways or very brief consolidation. And as we know, we wanna be using, in a bull market, we wanna be using short term oversold signals for entry. But as far as overextended signals, we wanna be using longer term timeframes. So here's ETH on the four hour chart, and it did just fire off a four hour super stack for overbought. We can see the last time overbought fired off was before a big dump. We've had some nice oversold signals firing off. But one thing I wanna note is when there is news behind a move, RSI levels can get more extended. So let's say normally when I'm in bullish positions, four hour super stack alerts firing off, I might sell half of my position. Knowing that there's news behind this and the news is that PayPal and Venmo are going to be integrating cryptocurrency space or cryptocurrencies into their platforms. But knowing that it's news behind the move, maybe instead of selling half of my position, I only sell 25% or 33% to let it ride a little bit longer. It's always a good idea to lock in some profit when we're very overextended. But again, when there is a, a fundamental news reason for being that overextended, it's a little bit different when there's no reason. So keeping an eye out for consolidation, we'll just be looking for a four hour high or low, but T-R-A-D-R-P-R-O.com if you wanna check it out. So let's get into technical analysis. Bitcoin on the daily time frame has changed the daily trend. We were starting by watching last night. So here's the, the, the layout. We were watching the daily bounce. We knew we were just looking for a daily lower high. We started pulling back over the weekend. We then had a setup yesterday saying, hmm, that looks like a four hour inverse head and shoulders setup. So if the bulls can confirm this four hour inverse head and shoulders, our daily high or low will be set. Confirmed it overnight last night. So yes, daily high or low is set. That level of support is 9,161. And now the bull break over 9,592 to change the daily trend. Zoom out to the weekly chart, weekly, Higher low is established, and now we're looking back up to our good friend, 10,000 and 10,428 resistance. So good sign for the bulls to start off the week, and the best case scenario is happening for the altcoin bulls because it's a Bitcoin bull break and a Bitcoin dominance bear break, which means the altcoins are going up stronger than Bitcoin. Everybody's going up, but the altcoins are going up stronger. So that is notable, and ETH is a great example of that. Here's the Bitcoin dominance chart, daily lower high and lower low. Bears aren't getting a ton of follow through, but again, the bounce on this weekly time frame is extremely weak at this point. Normally, I would be looking for a weekly higher low to be set, which we did get, but I'd be looking for a bounce up into the mid 67s for a tightening weekly range. And in this instance, this is a weekly bear flag. It's an extremely weak bounce. And if we drop down and break 65.58, the low of today is 65.72. We came real close, 14 cents away. If 65.58 breaks, great sign for altcoin bulls. That being said, we're about to look at a bunch of altcoins. They are very different in how they are positioned on their daily timeframes. We're gonna look at our top three. We're gonna look at some in the middle of the road, and then we're gonna look at weaker names. So ETH, lead bull, very clearly. Daily trend change, blowing through resistance. 237 was that resistance level and we are up multiple percent over it. Weekly time frame is a bull flag trying to confirm, have to break 253.60, lot of hype out there around Ethereum these days. And again, just that Bitcoin dominance chart breaking bearish would be a great sign for the ETH bulls and most notably because this ETH BTC chart that we've been watching for quite some time in this weekly equilibrium just formed a bull flag, just like the US dollar pairing and is now breaking resistance. 256 just broke, no follow through at this point. If we can break resistance of 26 right behind it and start taking out these weekly lower highs, bigger picture, it will be very notable as this is the first convincing weekly trend change back to the bulls on this ETH BTC chart since the all-time high during 
the 2017 and start of 2018 hype. So looking at the monthly time frame, sideways and into the bull break, we just need follow through. We need to break some of these levels. And in my opinion, that follow through will come if the Bitcoin dominance chart breaks that support level and drops to a weekly lower low. So ETH bulls in complete control. Again, it's the zoom out game on the shorter term timeframes. We're in a 15 minute uptrend. If we lose that, we zoom out to the hourly. Hourly uptrend and exponential support. If we lose that, we zoom out to the four hour. Tons of space on all these timeframes. Keep in mind, what I call them now, I'm calling them back burner trades. When we see a significant move like this, we know we have back burner trades of first five minute oversold conditions, first hourly oversold conditions, after significant bull runs, we look for those trades. So those trades aren't anywhere near setting up right now, but I put them on the back burner because I know that the next time those setups occur, that I should be watching for them. So four hour higher low will be on watch when we top out. Very strong move to start off the week. BATUSD, C, on Coinbase here. It broke bullish first. Its daily trend changed two days ago. So we had a little higher low and higher high. And on the four hour chart, we're tightening up. If we see a bear break of 238, we will lose four hour uptrend support and uptrend momentum. But BAT gave a little bit of an early signal. So we're keeping an eye on it for now. Resistance from here is 259, but certainly one of the stronger names as well with the bull volume spike and the follow through through that resistance. Look at how notable this volume is just slowly dropping off and that huge volume, very notable. Link USD, we've been talking about how it's been a lead technical bull for a very long time. That remains the case. Daily bull flag, high or low of 404, significant bull break. And we're now just looking up at 450, 451, and 462 as the bulls attempt to confirm this weekly high or low and then continuation. So bulls very strong on Link as well. And again, same thing, tons of space for a four hour higher low. We got an hourly uptrend with exponential support. Bulls very strong. So we're now going to head to our weaker names, ADA, USDT, middle of the road, still strong, but we have not confirmed a daily trend change yet. Higher low of 7.7, bulls have to break 8.45 to confirm the daily trend change and to try and be in the same stronger category as the three altcoins that we just looked at. BNB is even weaker. So BNB is try trying to change its daily trend and I would need to see a bull break of 16.65, which is still 2% away. And if we reject, we could stay in daily equilibriums on these weaker names. So Binance, definitely weaker. We know LTC has been weak for a while. It hasn't confirmed a daily trend change yet. Have to break 4505. It's in play. But again, the fact that it hasn't broken yet is notable to us. XRP, certainly weaker. Anything under 1988 is just a daily lower high remaining in this tightening range. Not close to changing this daily trend. And XTZ USD. Same thing, trying to change the daily trend, but we have to get a bull break of 278 and still has a ways to go. XRP and LTC are definitely the weakest of the weak names that we just looked at. XTZ and BNB, a little bit stronger on the longer term timeframes, but still struggling on the daily. And ADA, stronger on the longer term timeframe for sure, just struggling to confirm the daily trend change at the moment. So that is where we stand. Very clear lead bulls, ETH, BAT, and LINK. ADA middle of the road, and then as we get weaker on down the line. Congrats to the bulls. Bitcoin still wants more follow through. This Bitcoin bull break, you know, if we were to top out here, I'd call that a double top. And we're watching the Bitcoin dominance chart very closely for that weekly support. And we know when these moves top out, we're just looking for four hour higher lows. And there will likely be a good number of bulls trying to get in on four hour higher lows. Now that we've seen this bull volume, this bull move, and the bull news associated with it. So congrats to the bulls. Weekly higher lows are set. S&P 500 bulls are very similar. They're trying to do the same thing. So if we look at SPY, weekly consolidation looks very similar to Bitcoin. Daily time frame has to change the trend now. We need the higher low and we need to break the high of last week. So the cryptocurrency space seeing some more convincing bullish action on their daily time frame before the broader S&P 500. Still watching for correlations. They've weakened a little bit recently and overall, Correlation on the weekly time frame is still prevalent as far as I'm concerned, but nice to see the, the lack of tick for tick correlation, which certainly was getting a bit frustrating for crypto traders. So let's see how the four hour consolidation looks and keeping an eye on the ETH BTC resistance being tested and the Bitcoin dominance support. Have a good rest of your day. Do good things. Check out the Trader Pro Alert system. 
if you are interested in that kind of thing. This is some milkweed. So anyone that gardens or farms barefoot and likes pollinator knows you're good for about one bee sting a year. Hopefully I'm getting mine out of the way early, but you can see I'm working with a club foot on the left. It swelled up pretty bad. <laughs> 